Uh, this is how we are kicking off the next 30 minutes of Business Incorporated. Saudi Arabia gets sets up new 13 billion U.S. dollars mortgage refinancing company. And protests continue in Mexico after the government raises gasoline prices by as much as 20.1%. And here in West Africa, Togolese welcome the government's move to import cleaner fuel and ban toxic products. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the program. I am Bo Cinema Fayed, live to you here from our global headquarters. Let's start from the marketplace. The Egyptian stock market has refused to give up its title as Africa's best performing stock market in 2016. The Egyptian market was up nearly 77 percent and as the new year 2017 takes off, the North Africa's largest stock market remain really Hot. Look at the market numbers today. Look at the Egyptian stock exchange. Real hot, 12,785, up about one and a half percent. Meantime, the Nigerian stock market managed to stage a comeback intraday, 0.13 percent. I'm looking at the Nigerian uh, NSE's all share index, 26,530, climbing higher than the figure you saw there about uh, two hours ago. We're about one hour to the final closing bell on the Nigerian market for the day. In Kenya, the uh, all share index is sitting at 132.27 trading water, negative two tenths of a percent. While the South African GSC, the largest market on the continent, was flat, 0 0.08, 50,798 at about 12 o'clock Nigerian time. Cross over to the Middle East, where Saudi Arabia's housing minister, Majid al hogail says the kingdom has decided to set up a company to refinance up to $13.33 billion or 50 billion reals of housing deficit over the next five years. The new institution to be known as Saudi Refinancing Company will look to raise the proportion of Saudi's home ownership by five percentage points to 52 percent by the year 2020. Meantime, the stock market called the Tadawul was weak at intraday Thursday. Take a look at the bottom of the page, negative two tenths of a percent, 7,224. Look at the top of the page, Abu Dhabi, 0.31 percent in the green, 12 o'clock Nigerian time, Dubai financial markets around 3,650, up by 0.29 percent and the Carter stock exchange 10,702 a little bit neuter at about 0.03 percent let's move on to Europe now where you look at the markets for the day markets in Europe opened lower today after minutes from the last US Federal Open Market Committee or the FOMC showed the willingness to increase rates at a faster pace at least twice in the new year. And at the car market, 2016 was a boom one for auto sellers in the UK, in the US, and in Japan, supporting the raft of purchasing managers index data we are seeing at the moment. Let's put all of this into some context and perspective with Conrad Bilsen, who is a DWTV financial correspondent for Channels Television at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Good afternoon, Conrad. Hope you had a nice lunch already. It's at 1.30 uh, here in Lagos and in Frankfurt. So let's start with what we are driving as we speak. Uh, this is a post about the car sales so amazing from the UK to the US to Japan. That was towards the end of last year. What does the figure look like for German, uh, German automakers and the shares of these automakers on the stock exchange where you are at the moment? Well, also here in Germany, it was a very, very strong car sales year. In 2016, more than 3.3 million cars were sold here in Germany. That's a 7% increase compared to the year before and the third record sales year in a row. Uh, but I have to say, this high level is one reason why many investors and also many people in the industry are quite skeptical whether this can continue. The share prices of Daimler here in Frankfurt, BMW, also Volkswagen are reflecting this today. They're only slightly, slightly higher than last night, so they're barely moving. Uh, anticipation is quite skeptical. And why is that? Many of those car sales in uh, 2016 had to do with uh, relatively low fuel prices. Everyone knows that the increase of the oil price is likely to make petrol more expensive this year. Also, interest rates were low all over the world. Uh, that allowed many buyers to finance their purchases more easily. 
and this is uh, likely not to continue forever. Also, one technical word I learned here, uh, it's um, personal contract purchases, PCP, that's what people in the car industry call uh, special contracts that allow car makers to sell cars uh, to people um, uh, easily because uh, people don't you know pay and buy this car at once in one big and pay one big amount they only pay a monthly rate and after three years they decide whether to buy the rest of the car or give it back to the car maker those PCPs run in three year cycles and uh, the car industry is convinced that uh, because of those cycles it's not likely that 2017 will be another record year well, a comrade, what you folks call the CPC over there in Germany is what we call higher purchase here in Nigeria. That is, you purchase, but it's a bit of a higher rate, as it were. Uh, depending on when you finish the payment, you get the car back, or if you fail to pay it up, uh, you get it impounded. Somewhere you just get in the middle of the street, and you find out you get out of the building, the car is no longer there because it's been repossessed. Okay, that's a different story. When you get to Nigeria, you're going to find out how we do it around here. Uh, we can do a cross check of that when I go to Germany or Frankfurt. So let's look at the PMIs. Um, this is also very interesting and positive stories from Hong Kong to Nigeria to China. The Purchasing Managers Index, Manufacturing Index, that's what it really is in, in, in actual terms. This is, is this more than a seasonal year-end rally? And as you said, is it likely that rising oil prices will punch things sometime uh, in the near future, in the new year? Well, m many ifs and buts are attached to all the forecasts for 2017, and uh, there are many, many uh, opportunities for purchasing managers to get disappointed later this year, at least uh, to get down from this very high sentiment that they're on at the moment, and that's uh, reflected by those purchasing managers' indices coming in from all over the world. Uh, take China, for example, a country so important for our exporters here in Germany, and also so important, I reckon, for many countries in Africa, um, you know, incentives that the government in Beijing introduced in order to give the Chinese economy a boost, that many of those incentives will be running out in 2017. So it's a big, there's a big question mark whether uh, the Chinese economy will really be able to continue to grow steadily and whether Chinese purchasing managers uh, will remain as you know, upbeat as they are. And of course, in China, here in Europe, I gather also in Africa, everyone's also...